Generally speaking, the personal project is a culminating learning experience for NYP students. It's an opportunity for students to select a challenging goal, guide their own learning journey, and create a product worthy of their own evaluation. Hello, I am Pinan Jafarova. For my personal project, I have conducted paintings on canvas and papers by utilizing acrylic, watercolor, and acryl paint for improving my painting skills. Then I gifted my artworks to four of my audience members, which were Natalia Valadova, Kiana Khadiv, Laman Jafarov, and Naraz Jafarov. All of these individuals know me since my childhood, so they have seen me develop my painting skills, which makes the outcomes of the project more reliable. I interviewed these audience members with seven stable questions as shown here, which were the same for all of them, by asking about their opinions on my work and their evaluation of weaknesses, strengths, and recommendations for improvement. As a product, I gathered all of these subproducts comprised of artworks and interviews, which are the principle for my project, and I made the website as represented here, showing all of my work to the other audience members. You can see the link for my website in here, or you can access it from the additional information section for my project. Here are the screenshots of my whole website and the link for it shown in this page. As the Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh says, if you hear a voice within you say you cannot paint, then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced. The goal of my project is to create minimal four paintings and interview my audience members about paintings I would give to them in order to demonstrate my personal expressions through the development of painting skills within the artworks and interviews I created. I decided that the product will be completed towards the end of my project after researching to get an understanding of how to create professionally. I chose to conduct my project in topic of genre painting as all of the ideas I considered this was the one that I had most passion for, that had the most opportunities for developing my skills by learning how to paint original scenes of everyday life. Before considering the project, I was already interested in arts and painting. I relished spending my spare time painting and drawing sketches. I initially considered cooking desserts, yet I chose not to do this as I didn't find it as captivating as painting. My global context for the project is personal and cultural expressions because my project is about painting minimum four paintings by means of genre painting, utilizing existing resources. By painting original artworks, I'm using paints along with papers and canvas as my disposal in new technicus for forming paintings with my own ideas while looking at everyday scenes of life. My choice of global context might have been identities and relationships, yet I didn't choose this as my goal is about improving own painting skills while utilizing my original ideas corresponding to initial research. My goal doesn't regard exploring identities and human relationships as much, although there is still some level of human attraction through interviews I performed with audience members. I was able to improve on the aspects mentioned in global context throughout the progression of my project. I extended my knowledge and understanding in expressing my ideas because I started my work with completely blank papers and canvas. Till the end of my project, I managed to develop the materials into colorful, abstract, and realistic paintings, utilizing only the other listed materials. My knowledge and understanding upon this global context is enhanced because I certainly extended my knowledge and understanding also significantly skills in painting. Due to research process and practices I did with painting and the acrylic, watercolor, and acryl paints, I was able to further express my ideas in the form of paintings and artworks. My development of appreciation of aesthetic was surely visible because through my experiences of independently completing various and complex assignments and goals of creating artworks, I understood how difficult and effort-taking it must be for professional artists to create more complex structured paintings than mine. Hence, the color artworks became much more interesting to me. I came with some challenges throughout this project. For instance, the main challenges were when I attempted to manage my time correctly while getting things done without stress. For solving this challenge, I kept a calendar of my works and created to-do lists along with the research plan and the project for getting things done on a basis while reminding myself of the tasks. This also diminished the amount of stress on me as I managed to complete everything on time while organizing the tasks. Another challenge was delay in development during the time of summative assessments. As I did very little work on the projects in this period, my solution for for facing issues was to work on a regular basis and to plan my research according to the time constraints. I also met challenges when creating the product as I struggled with finding audience members who were able to interview, which I overcame by contacting them. I was required to be open-minded and approach issues from new perspectives for identifying solutions that had effective results. 
I wasn't ignoring challenges as they could form delays in work. As for the limited time frame, I had to ignore some of the possible outcomes, helping to manage my time. The first painting is called Flowers in the Ways, which I created using acrylic paints on a 24 to 24 inch canvas. This was a painting I focused the most on throughout my project as it required for me to consider a lot of details and to blend in colors with consideration. I gifted this painting to Natalia Meladova. My strengths were that I managed to create an abstract artwork with a lot of colors blended together. How about the audience member wanted to see a diverse background with real life objects and different kinds of flowers together in the ways which he thinks might have made the atmosphere of the painting more attractive. The second painting is called The Girl in the Rain, which I conducted using watercolor paints on an A4 paper. The strength of this painting were that I managed to form a landscape which had an abstract mix of colors blending with one another. Kanahudi really enjoyed the fact that I managed to paint a really realistic hair color for the girl in the painting, and the dress had an ombre look with mixed burgundy, red, pink and purple colors. However, the weakness was that the shadow underneath the girl's legs and the red color in the background were something extra. He suggested that I make a landscape with streets in the background instead of warm colors such as yellow. The third painting is called The Night in a Paris Restaurant, I, which I made using watercolor paints on an A3 paper. I gifted this painting to Le Mans Jafarwa. The strength of this painting were that the streets, street lamps, restaurants, buildings, and tables were greatly drawn and colored in a blending way. Nonetheless, the weakness was that the sky might have been in a diverse colors, which could have made the atmosphere of the painting better. And the last and the fourth painting is called A Peaceful Village, which I painted using watercolor paints on a 3 paper. I gifted this painting to Aras Jafar. The strength of this painting were that the streets, buildings, roads were drawn and painted in a blending way, an excellent way. Yet still the weakness were that the sky was painted badly and it might have been better to rather paint it in a different color or with much more texture and layers. The importance of my project to my surroundings and audience members have been that they could look at my paintings and see my development of painting skills while analyzing them by themselves. Essentially, they can understand the concept behind genre painting with aquarello, watercolor and acrylic paints on canvas and paper materials while sticking onto abstract and realism genre paintings. Then my audience members benefit significantly from my project because they got one of my projects for themselves and they discovered my development of painting skills while learning about genre painting through my work and expanding their knowledge. As my global context requires to express my ideas through creativity and to communicate with audience members. Collectively, I think that this project has vulnerable influence on my future learning abilities because of the lessons I took from it. Now I value working with plants more because I saw the positive impact it had on work I accomplished in limited time while focusing efficiently on the project. I understood that setting goals helped me to work on my dreams instead of getting distracted. This means that if I move on to the diploma program on the universities further, I would apply similar methods for focusing on projects and assignments. Similarly, I practiced working under pressure and became more like an IB learner as I turned into a balanced, principled, reflective, communicative, risk-taking, and an inquiring learner. Thank you for your time and consideration.